Good Thursday morning. This is Scott Maurice Wheeler. Um, I'm the Presbyterian minister at Oakland Cambridge Presbyterian Church in Cambridge, Wisconsin. I live in McFarland, Wisconsin uh, with my wife, Stacy, and our son, Sam. Uh, we have a dog, Shadow, and often on my morning walks with Shadow, uh, we come up into the Hidden Farm Road meadow. Um, I wanted to offer this morning's meditation uh, for you because in addition to being a minister, I also am a teacher in the McFarland School District. Um, and uh, as we know, with schools closed, uh, there's a lot of concern uh, for people, for students uh, who are facing food, food scarcity uh, during this time, as, as they always have, uh, even when school has been in session. Uh, but this uh, has compounded that problem. So as we begin our morning meditation in the meadow, um, I want us to focus on breakfast. Uh, maybe some of you have already been up and had coffee on your breakfast. The word breakfast means to break fast uh, from your night's sleep. And thinking of breaking fast, uh, yesterday evening we talked about, or morning we talked about fasting from fear. But a lot of people are fearing, will they have enough to eat this day? Um, and we know that um, in the Gospel of Mark and Matthew, Luke, I think even John references the fact that the, the crowds, the masses followed Jesus. Um, they were hungry for both spiritual nourishment, but also food. And in Mark's Gospel, um, Jesus went away with the disciples uh, to a quiet place trying to get away from the crowd, but the crowd followed. Um, and it was getting late in the day, and uh, the disciples were worried, what should we do? And Jesus said, give them something to eat, and they had nothing to offer. They didn't have the financial resources, uh, and they were worried. And Jesus said, well, let's take account of what we do have. And they found uh, among them, uh, as we know the story, uh, depending on the version, uh, that a young boy was there and had um, two fish and five loaves, and that was enough. And Jesus uh, took those, blessed that, and then had the crowd uh, set out, and they fed that many. Um, 4,000, 5,000, um, multiple different uh, accounts. But the thing is, instead of hoarding, uh, the resource for himself, this young boy shared and was able to feed uh, neighbors, friends, strangers. In Matthew's Gospel, we know the famous, uh, in chapter 25, um, judging between sheep and goats, and Jesus saying, uh, among many things, when I was hungry, you fed me. And when you do it to the least of these, even those who are hungry, facing food scarcity, you do it to me. So I was thinking about that and wanting us to focus on that a little bit about, um, we know uh, as we go to the grocery stores now, the shelves are empty. Uh, <laughs> people are hoarding toilet paper and all kinds of other things. Um, and the grocery stores are working hard to keep the s s shelves stocked uh, so that people can buy things. People are worried that we might go down on a, a lockdown and not have enough. And I think that's why we need to be mindful of the story in uh, the Gospels of sharing the resources to feed the masses. We have it in us to do that as human beings who live in America and in other countries. Um, I don't have it, uh, and I'm going to post it here if other people have it uh, and have the knowledge. I know school districts are providing meals. Uh, I know McFarland, where I teach, has that. Um, and I know that um, the resources are there. You can sign up. It's free. Uh, you don't even have to be in the district. Uh, you, can, you can sign up, and they will have a grab-and-go lunch uh, and a breakfast. Uh, and there are certain times for that. I know the school district in Cambridge, where I serve, is doing that. Um, and I'm sure the Madison School District, school districts around the country and people around the world are finding ways to feed one another. It's important that we do this. I know the McFarland Food Pantry, like many other food pantries, uh, are in desperate need 
of food, quick meals. Um, so uh, yes, um, quick meals, uh, ramen noodles, canned pasta, canned meats, soups, uh, things that are easy, peanut butter, something that can be made a quick meal um, and uh, they are in need of volunteers to help. So if uh, you feel that you're in a position you can, um, contact them, I will post in this uh, and I'd welcome others uh, to do that if they have information about where uh, the needs are. And uh, a shout out to the restaurants. I know it, this is a, a hard time for them as businesses, but they're trying to rise to the occasion to continue to feed and care for, uh, some even providing free meals or uh, reduced meals. Um, and again, I think it shows for me that passage of scripture uh, about how we are sharing uh, what we have. And I think that's what we're called to do uh, as a global community uh, created in God's image. Because when we share with one another, we are sharing God as well, uh, the sacredness that's in all of us. Um, so please, uh, this day uh, in the morning, um, for our prayers, uh, our prayers are lifted up for those who are facing food scarcity, for those who are um, sharing what they have. Um, we pray for those who are fearful and hoarding um, not only their foods, I, I'm just amazed at how many people are going out and buying guns um, at a time when we should be helping one another. This is, this is a, a, a worrisome thing, um, that that's how scared people are. Uh, but um, share love. Share love. Um, we pray for our food service workers uh, who are trying to meet these needs uh, in our schools, at food pantries, at homeless shelters, um, wherever uh, they're working to serve meals and feed people. Please, please um, keep them in your prayers for the food pantries, the volunteers who are there, uh, for people who are making donations. For our restaurant workers, those who are still employed, uh, and for those who aren't employed and wondering where their uh, next meal might come from. There's so many uh, that we want uh, to offer our prayers for this day, uh, for our government officials as we seek ways uh, lifting them up to make good, uh, educated decisions. Um, and for those uh, elected officials who um, hearts are, seem to still be hardened um, and aren't sure how they want to help uh, the citizens uh, that they are were elected to serve. Um, we're in this together, folks, and that's the only way we're going to find our way through this. Uh, even with social distancing and self-isolation, um, we remember uh, and we lift up our prayers this day uh, for those who are hungry and those who are seeking to meet that need. So let us go this day knowing Christ goes with us, uh, the creator of all, uh, is in us, around us, um, in our sharing, in our loving, uh, in our caring. And uh, may the God of this new day bless you and keep you safe now and always. Amen. Have a great day.